Ford just unveiled the new Bronco Everglades for those who aren't 100% satisfied with the off-road capabilities of the Sasquatch package and in this video I'm gonna go over some of the spec and tech of this new Bronco and then show you what's different in the design from the regular Bronco. It gets pretty interesting just looking at details such as the fenders. You now have three fender options for your Bronco. More on that a little later when we jump into Photoshop. The Bronco Everglades only comes as a hard top four-door model with the only available engine option being the current Bronco's turbocharged 2.3 liter inline four. This gives it 300 horsepower and 325 pound-feet of torque and it's connected to a 10-speed automatic. As of right now Ford isn't planning on adding any additional engine options to the Everglades. So the standard Sasquatch package is already features 35 inch tires, a lifted suspension and locking differentials both front and rear. With the Everglades model they've added mud terrain tires on 17 inch wheels, a factory snorkel mounted to the A pillar and this looks really cool I'm gonna show you that in just a second and the optional modular front bumper with a worn Xeon 10S winch. It sounds like it will be pretty capable when it comes to water crossings not just because of the snorkel but the front and rear axles and the transfer case itself also sits a lot higher in the Everglades model and this means that the Bronco Everglades can cross waterways that are 36.4 inches deep and that's 2.9 inches higher than a regular Bronco Sasquatch which is pretty incredible when you think about it since it's coming straight from the Ford factory like this. On top of all this it's not over there you also have steel rock rails and skid plates under body protection so you can go over those rough terrains and trails. There is a new exclusive color as well for the uh, this Everglades version and this is called desert sand and I really think it suits this package and this comes of course in addition to the other colors that we have which are eruption green, cactus gray, area 51 and shadow black. In the interior the Everglades comes standard with a 12 inch touchscreen and vinyl seats. You also have washout floor mats. This makes it super interesting if you go in a mud terrain trail and uh, you want to clean out the interior really fast. All you got to do is just hose it down and it's all good. You don't even have to think about taking anything out from the interior. And it, it also comes with green stitching on the inside. The 2022 Bronco Everglades will go on sale this summer and the starting price will be $54,495, which is a few grand more than if you were to buy a wild track and that has the Sasquatch package included in it. Now let's jump into Photoshop here and compare the trim levels to the regular 2022 Bronco because as I said there are some funny small changes in this design specifically when we compare it to the Sasquatch package and also when we compare it to the Raptor. They, it seems like the Ford design team they focused a lot on fender design with the new Bronco and uh, they seem to have a lot of fun with it so let's see here. Let's start with the front view. So up top here you have the brand new just unveiled at the Chicago Auto Show the Everglades version or package or whatever you want to call this but it looks really cool. I think it suits the Bronco to have this kind of styling and details that I love with this package. As you see if we zoom in here you have typography of the Everglades right here in the front fender. I think it looks really cool to have a detail like that which really sets it off if you just see the, uh, the Everglades at a glance you're immediately gonna recognize it if you see this integration of the front fender and above that we have this massive snorkel just look at how they implemented this in the A-pillar it goes almost around the side mirror right here above the side mirror then up all the way to this point to give it uh, sufficient breathing I guess when you cross those deep water crossings and of course we have to talk about the wheels I'm gonna talk more about that when we look at the side view but just quickly here the first impression I had when I saw these wheels is I think these probably in my opinion they suit the Bronco overall design the graphics better than these right here that we have on the 2022 regular Sasquatch Bronco down here they both look cool but if you have if you think about the uh, the retro inspired design of the Bronco I want to have the wheels be in similar uh, philosophy to the overall graphics of the car and I think the Everglades wheel they, they are 17 inches on 35s but I think the design of the wheel themselves, they look like it, they could be from the 70s, like, a, like an old black 70s steel wheel. And I really like the, 
the, the design of them. And in the front here, you can see that we have this massive winch to help to, uh, pull out whatever you have ne needed to be pulled out deep in the Everglades, such as a one of these uh, fan boats or whatever whatever they're called. You might have one of those laying around the, in the backyard that you need to pull out. You can just hook it out to this winch and it sh you should be all good to go. And then we have, of course, the ground clearance, uh, clearance. It sits a little higher with the steel skid plate right here in the front, which we have, of course, also on the regular Bronco down here, as you can see, but this sits a little lower than the Everglades, even though when you look at it like this, specifically in a minute here inside of you, it feels like the Everglades actually sit a little uh, lower. It feels lower just visually looking at it like this. And I'm gonna show it, let you know why I think that is in, in a minute here, looking at the side view. So jumping in, I think this is all for the front view, except for we also have, of course, the, um, the Bronco badge or the lettering in the front is black out on the Everglades. I think it's anodized black, which I'm not sure if I'm a fan of. I kind of like it when you can see that it says, spells out Bronco in the front end, because it just looks cool to have that in, in between the headlights and also in line with, you, you can see here in the 2022 Bronco, it's in line with these LEDs. So the daytime running lights continue across the, the front end, almost like a, it's not a light bar, obviously, but it creates a, um, a graphic in the front end that stretches across the entire front and it gives it this cool wide look. I think the 2022 regular Bronco looks a little wider, maybe because of that, because we have the white lettering in between the headlights. I'm not sure if that's the reason or, or maybe it's something else, but it just feels a little wider than the, uh, than the regular Bronco. Jumping into the rear view, you can see that there's not a lot of changes going on here. We do have this, uh, a full spare wheel on the uh, Everglades as well with the cool retro design right here, this 70 inch wheel uh, looks like a steel wheel which I really like other than that I can't really tell these two apart that uh, much you can see that here this is another detail it doesn't have anything to do specifically with the Everglades model but this on top here it has the LED package and you can see if you look at the taillights you can compare the LED to the non LED package down here so this is probably just a very very base Bronco down here it doesn't have the hard top it doesn't have the LED either if I were to pick between these two I'd like the non LED that is a design they look pretty cool they look a little older if you want to have that really retro uh, feel and look to your Bronco I would probably go with just a base base Bronco and add the Sasquatch package onto that and not really care about the 12 inch uh, uh, infotainment screen but at the same time I kind of want to have a nice mix between modern and retro so I would go for the LED package if I were to buy a Bronco today and I like like the outline of this design as well compared to this feels a little I don't know irregular not uh, as clear defined design as the LEDs now last but not least we got to have a look at the side views here as well because this is where it gets really fun and interesting as I said before I think Ford right now they're really really crushing it when it comes to design and I think their design team is probably if I were wanted to work as a designer I said this many many times before but I'm gonna say it again if I want if I were working as a designer car designer today I would either fly over to South Korea and start working with Kia or Hyundai because I think they're doing a lot of cool designs specifically in the EV markets. If I were to stay here in the US I would try to get a job at Ford because I feel they have a lot of fun right now designing their cars. Just look at these sketches here. They look really cool and I like how it's uh, going through this water crossing here in this sketch as well. You can see just how high the water level can go on the Everglades model here. But looking at the, I wanted to talk about the fenders here specifically. So on the Everglades here, it feels like the, the designers didn't really want, know if they wanted to keep them round like this, like we have on the 2022 down here, or if they wanted to square them out like we have on the uh, Jeep Wrangler for example so this is feels like it's some sitting somewhere in between and I think it looks pretty good but if I were to pick one of these this fender designs right here these semi squared off fenders or the round uh, fenders on the Sasquatch regular Bronco I think I would prefer the rounded ones because I feel they're usually when you have cars like this with this package 
off-road squareness. Usually what, uh, what the uh, designers do is square off the fender. So I think rounded fenders on the Ford Bronco like this, on the regular Bronco, it looks good. And it also sets it apart from the competition, looking at it at a, at a quick glance. If you just see the rounded fenders, you're gonna know that this is a Bronco and nothing else. But other than that, other changes that we have here from the uh, Everglades model to the regular Sasquatch, you see that we have a uh, roof rail right here or a roof bar that you can attach whatever accessories you want on your Everglades model and you can see how far the winch is sticking out here in the front. I think if I were to get the Everglades uh, trim I would not get it if I knew that I was just going to drive around town in this model because of these features. It would be such a waste to get a uh, capable Bronco like this. I mean you can still get the Sasquatch package and that is a beast off-road straight from factory and this is another level above that. So having the Everglades, if I were to buy that, that means that I know that I'm going to do some serious off-roading. Otherwise I don't really see the point of getting that package. And you can also see that the door handles here are not color matched to the body. And then of course we have this beautiful typography down here on the fender of the side. Really cool Everglades map right there. So I wanna show you one more thing right here and that is if we pop in the Ford Bronco Raptor down here, you can see that we now have three different fender designs and styles. It's really interesting to see just how much effort Ford put into designing fenders for the new Bronco. So the first style is the regular traditional Ford Bronco rounded style that we just talked about. And that is the, this right here in the middle. Looks really cool. It sets the Bronco apart from the competition. And it uh, also suits the overall design of the Bronco, in my opinion, going back to the 70s and 80s. And then we have this in-between style, which is uh, almost squarish, but not really. They're <laughs> just a little rounded corners, but it's still more squarish than the regular Bronco. And it looks cool as well. They're very thin right here, as you can see. The same kind of width in the plastic as the regular Bronco. And then last but not least, we have these massive, beefy, muscular, fenders of the Ford Bronco Raptor down here which I've talked about in a previous video when I made uh, the video about the Bronco Raptor what I thought about it you can go and check that out right here on the channel I'm gonna link it down below in the description but what I like about the this design here is that this is also these are two Broncos that are designed for a purpose they all are but the Bronco Raptor is more of a Baja racer and the Everglades is more of yeah going through the Everglades for example and the Sasquatch in the middle the standard one is the best of both worlds I would say so if it was up to me if I was buying a Bronco today I would probably still go with a base Bronco with the Sasquatch package and probably add the LED package on there as well some might say that with this Everglade uh, package um, I have a feeling we might start to see Ford pushing out more and more trim levels and packages like this, the Everglades for the Bronco. And some might be annoyed by that and think it's too much. But I say go for it, Ford. I think they're doing a great job right now. And I like it because the original Ford Bronco is still such a cool design. It's one of the best retro-inspired designs out there, if not the best at the moment.